Hey, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this video. It's been basically a hot minute since I've really posted anything here. And I wanted to share something that came up. I think this might be able to help you. Um, so recently, uh, this just showed up in my uh, news feed that Price is Right host Drew Carey reveals the secret to losing his 80 pounds. Now, it's kind of interesting. The first thing when I read the comments is that people were posting is, oh, he probably took Ozembic or this or that. Um, here's how I know he didn't take Ozembic. Um, so when you scroll down, let me give you the mechanics of what he did first. Um, and then we'll get into the mindset behind everything after that. And I'll explain why I believe he did not take Ozembic. Uh, all right, here we go. A 65 year old comedian, uh, recently lost over 80 pounds, uh, which even eliminated his diabetes, which is phenomenal. Fantastic. Congrats. A shout out to him for that. What's the secret to losing weight and feeling better? Well, Drew Carey is spilling it all. And here's what he basically said in his interview. He said, basically, he had a strict diet of limiting carbs and making sure he drank lots of water, mixing that with hitting the gym regularly um, and starting to drop the pounds. So basically, he went on a no carb um, uh, type of keto type of diet here. Uh, no bread, no pizza, nothing, no, no beans, no starches, egg whites. So it was a pretty restrictive uh, program for him. But, and he also combined that, um, and I'll get to that button in a second, with lots of cardio, about 45 minutes of cardio a day. So he changed his eating um, uh, habits, and then he went out there and added exercise with it. Sounds pretty simple. Um, most people have been on diets, have ate less and exercise and can't lose weight. Here's where I want you to scroll down to, and I want to read this, um, is his why. Um, he had two whys. Let me see if I can find this. The first why is this. He says, um, I was sick and tired of being fat on camera, and I really just got sick of it. Now, if you've seen some of my other lessons, I talk about the three ways you could change a behavior. You could change it consciously over and over again, 67 to 187 days. Uh, you do it through a life-changing epiphany a moment. Pain is the best inspirator. When the pain of the existing behavior becomes more painful than changing, you change in a millisecond. And right now, that's the writing on the wall. The second thing that gave him his why uh, was this. Drew Carey, and I'll read this, lost both his father and his older brother, uh, which I did not know about, to heart attacks from weight-related issues. So this was basically, he says, I always thought I was going to die before I was 60 years old. That was his wake up moment. That was his epiphany thing when he probably lost his brother. And on top of losing his dad earlier, he saw the patterns that were taking place and he had his wake up moment. Now, why do I share that with you here? Not to promote celebrities and weight loss, but because he had a why, I don't believe he took Ozembic. He basically went out there and took his health, which was lower on his value list, and it became his top value, his top priority. And as you've seen some of my other uh, content videos, whatever is highest on your value list, whatever's highest on your priorities, you're going to wake up in the morning, think about all the time, you're going to have um, 80 to 90% of your energy, time, and resources you'll put towards fulfilling those values. And when you achieve goals that are associated to those values, You'll actually raise the bar um, because the executive center of the brain kicks in and it makes you set higher goals in um, anticipation of achieving those goals, if that makes a little bit of sense here. Now, why do I share this with you? Well, one, that it's not Ozembic, I don't believe. But number two is this. Right now, maybe you're out of this New Year's resolution uh, mindset here. You're watching this uh, video here. What is it in your life right now that you might have as an underlying uh, pain association or something that's gnawing at you. So you may not even think about it right now or have anything, but what I want to do for you is this, is I really want to plant this seed that I'm willing to bet if we sat down kneecap to kneecap and we started to talk, I would find out there's something right now in your life that you really are just so darn frustrated with. You hate about what's going on in your life. It could be a stack of medications. It could be uh, something that you can't get upstairs, you have massive arthritis or inflammation in your body. Those things that are taking place, we can actually use as leverage to help take your life to the next level if you allow it to. So anyway, I wanted to share with you my take on this, give you a little bit of uh, uh, information here. 
uh, that can help you get your life to the next level and take your health to the next level. Hopefully you get something out of this that can help you live a healthier lifestyle. In the meantime, thank you so much uh, for being part of our little family here as we see our family grow. Hopefully we will uh, give us the opportunity to, to come up with greater content that could take you to the next level. Thanks for watching.